Merry Christmas and welcome to our special presentation of the real Christmas story from the Gospel of Matthew. The video itself comes from the LUMO Project, which has all the Gospels dramatically acted out so you can see and believe who Jesus is for yourself. You can get these videos for free with the YouVersion app that you can find in any app store and share them with your family and friends so they might come to know him too. Now before the feature, I want to invite you to come visit us for Christmas weekend. At 10.30 a.m. on Christmas Day, after you're done unwrapping gifts and having breakfast with your family, come and celebrate Jesus' birthday with a birthday party for Jesus here at Woodland Shores. You know, Jesus' birthday is the only birthday where everyone receives a gift. We hope to see you there. Of course, you're also welcome any other Sunday for either of our services at 9.15 or 11 a.m. Every week we have ministries for all ages. We'd love to have you join us anytime. Now you can find out more details about our events and other things going on on our church website, wsbchurch.com. That's wsbchurch.com. Now on with our presentation. This is the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers, Judah the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar, Perez the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram, the father of Aminadab. Aminadab, the father of Nashon. Nashon, the father of Salmon. Salmon, the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz, the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed, the father of Jesse. And Jesse, the father of King David. David was the father of Solomon, whose mother had been Uriah's wife. Solomon, the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam, the father of Abijah, Abijah, the father of Asa, Asa, the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat, the father of Jehoram, Jehoram, the father of Uzziah, Uzziah, the father of Jotham, Jotham, the father of Ahaz, Ahaz, the father of Hezekiah, Hezekiah, the father of Manasseh, Manasseh, the father of Amon, Amon, the father of Josiah, and Josiah, the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the exile to Babylon. After the exile to Babylon, Jeconiah was the father of Shealtiel, Shealtiel, the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel, the father of Abihud, Abihud, the father of Eliakim. Eliakim, the father of Azor. Azor, the father of Zadok. Zadok, the father of Akim. Akim, the father of Elihud. Elihud, the father of Eleazar. Eleazar, the father of Mathan. Mathan, the father of Jacob. And Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. And Mary was the mother of Jesus, who is called the Messiah. Thus there were 14 generations in all, from Abraham to David, 14 from David to the exile to Babylon, and 14 from the exile to the Messiah.
This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son and he gave him the name Jesus. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied. For this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said. Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up, took the child and his mother during the night, and left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. And so was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet, Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been outwitted by the Magi, he was furious, and he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. Then what was said through the prophet Jeremiah was fulfilled. A voice is heard in Ramah, weeping in great mourning, 
Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. After Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel, for those who were trying to take the child's life are dead. So he got up, took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning in Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. Having been warned in a dream, he withdrew to the district of Galilee, and he went and lived in a town called Nazareth. So was fulfilled what was said through the prophets, that he would be called a Nazarene.
Thanks for joining us for this presentation. If you have a moment, I would like to share with you why this child born in a manger was so special. He was no ordinary child. He was born miraculously, lived a perfect sinless life, and was the greatest teacher the world has ever known. He worked miracles that pointed to the fact that he wasn't just an ordinary man, but instead they reinforced his claims that he is the Messiah, the divine Son of God come into the world to purchase forgiveness of sins for everyone who would believe in him and turn from their sins. That's who Jesus is. That's why Christmas is so special and so wonderful. He is hope in the darkest times. He is the only one who can save us from our sins. And so, we want to invite you to respond, to trust in him as your Lord and Savior, because this is what Jesus says in his own words about his free gift that he offers to all men. In the Bible, he says in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but shall have eternal life. So tonight could be the night when you receive the greatest gift of all, the gift of forgiveness and eternal life from God through faith alone, in Christ alone. And we want to encourage you to do that. Just simply tell God, I receive your gift, I recognize I'm a sinner, and I need your grace and your forgiveness. And if you do that tonight, this is going to be the best Christmas you'll ever have, knowing that you are right with God and have a future and a hope that cannot be extinguished. Thanks so much for listening. Merry Christmas. You are loved.